Margaret Sanger was for forced sterilizations even after the Hitler experience. After World War II, people were so shocked by what Hitler did, both in gassing the handicapped and then gassing the Jews, and in hundreds of thousands of forced sterilizations, that eugenics became a bad word. But here we have Margaret Sanger in the 1950s still giving speeches, advocating sterilization, still supporting forced sterilization, and lamenting that eugenics is now a bad word. So not only was uh, Margaret Sanger for forced sterilization, she was still for it after many people ran away from it in the 1950s. Margaret Sanger was the founder of Planned Parenthood. What's often covered up today by Planned Parenthood and uh, their supporters is that she was a raving eugenist and she believed in human breeding and breeding out the unfit. And she most definitely was influenced by sort of the general Darwinian notion of selection and that we were being overwhelmed by the unfit and that we needed to stop that. And uh, yes, Margaret Sanger did think she was helping the poor by promoting birth control. But if you actually read her writings, like The Pivot of Civilization and, and other writings, why was she so wrought up about it? It wasn't just because she was being compassionate to the poor, it's because she thought the poor and others were unfit and that we need to stop them from breeding because they were going to overcome basically white elite semi, I, I, say, I would say white Anglo-Saxon Protestants, except many of these people were just nominal Protestants. They were no longer really particularly religious believers. And so she, sort of the Nordic races. And so she was very much a eugenist and believed in breeding better human beings and stopping the lower classes from breeding, uh, not just because she was being compassionate, because she thought they were unfit and inferior. And so we were destroying our society by allowing them to breed, allowing immigrants to breed. We were destroying our society, according to Margaret Sanger. Basically, the lower classes, immigrants, the poor, uh, minorities, and uh, again, anyone who in Darwinian terms would be considered evolutionary part of the lower races or unfit because they don't match a certain sort of predetermined IQ test, even if they're given an IQ test in English when that's not their native language. I mean, those were the sorts of profiles of the people that she would support. But basically, the poor, those she thought were unfit mentally and otherwise. She basically thought those who were, didn't live up to her predetermined standard were like weeds or cancerous growths. And in fact, her writing is just replete with dehumanized language, especially comparing other human beings to weeds that we need to weed out.